Hi, I'm Spring. I am an upper school history teacher and I'm also the faculty advisor for the Asian Students Union and the Gender Equity Club as well as the Board Games Club. I'm Eva Verstegen and I'm in 10th grade. My name's uh, Aaliyah. I'm in 6th grade. I'm Brian Skelly. I teach in the middle school. Hi, my name is Noah Bonamanasha and I'm in 11th grade. My name is Wayne and I'm a middle school teacher. Hi, I'm Savannah. I'm in sixth grade. My name is Malik Mubasher. I'm the instructor of religious thought in the upper school. This is Brinley and Abby. Hello, friends. I'm teacher Michael. My name is Carsley Jones and I'm a senior at French LA. Hi, I'm Sammy. I'm in 11th grade. I'm Fred Kogan. I teach art at French Select. So I think here at Friends Select, we're living his legacy by having conversations like this. We're really making a point of, of having professional development days and speaking with kids. We're having an MLK workshop and Social Justice Week, which explores worldwide issues and how those issues affect our city. We're all aware of, you know, what's going on in the world and how we should be treating others others that are different from us. I would like to say you did a good job of educating our um, non-black peers by doing different presentations and teaching them about different aspects of black history. We embrace and encourage our students' individuality, which I think is very special. Martin Luther King also definitely believed in unifying people to reach a common goal, and I think that's something we definitely do here. I think as a school, we have committed ourselves to examine how we are perpetuating systemic racism. I think we're still um, falling a bit short in um, increasing our diversity. How we're falling short is by leaving Dr. King in 1963, I Have a Dream. Last year and the whole uh, Black Lives Matter uh, thing about how police are have been accusing people of color uh, for things that they haven't done. We just need to do more. So I think sometimes we look at some of the less controversial statements of Kings, uh, such as uh, as March on Washington, his uh, judge people by the content of their character as opposed to the color of their skin, and we sometimes use that as a way to remove race from the conversation. The most important part for me and maybe for everyone is to treat people equally no matter what or what happened. We are falling short by still like having problems getting to the point that, that we should already be at. Uh, we're still fighting for um, equal pay, regardless of gender or race. We're still seeing heard um, acts of police brutality. Especially in a time of a pandemic, our lives and our ability to teach and learn is based on having workers who come in every evening to keep our spaces clean and sanitary. And so I think including those workers in our community more fully would better honor Dr. King's legacy.